want to give you an update on the five top strategies that I'm looking at in the E-mini S&P, and that is the uh, the two trend strategies up here at the top, Cobra 3 and Tick Count Trend, and down here at the bottom, the Counter Trend strategies, Cobra CT5B and SR Counter Trend, the new strategy. It's very similar to the Pivot Point strategy right here, uh, the Pivot Point trading system. Uh, Took a trade today. It was long. It was profitable for 162.50. Three trades in a row, profitable, long, short, long on these narrow ranging day. Uh, it's very similar to SR Counter Trend. SR Counter Trend did a little bit better. It got in at a little bit lower price and exited here at the close. Uh, but the Counter Trend strategies traded today and the trend following strategies did not. And you can see that here in the final results. I'm going to give you the update on the five top uh, e mini SP strategies that I'm trading and um, that are on my website right now. I get a lot of questions about what are the top five or what are the top set of strategies and for the E-mini S&P uh, these are the top five strategies to take a look at. I um, want to show you pivot points real quick. Um, this also works. I also want to show you how pivot points work and we, we saw it works in the E-mini S&P how it works in the E-mini Russell. Really good results in the E-mini Russell. Uh, a lot of questions on um, what works in the E-mini Russell here it is going back uh, about a year in the E-mini Russell so really good really good performance um, you see the results 22650 $3,300 drawdown and on the SPY a uh, thousand share trades on the SPY going back about a year on the SPY uh, taking a look at the results there it is on the SPY so some really good trades on the uh, on how these strategies work uh, one more thing I want to bring up is stochastic divergence. Stochastic divergence show me studies are the blue dots. It shows you when a, there's a divergence between price and stochastics. And today you see this low on the day on the E-mini S&P. You also saw it on the E-mini Russell. Looking at one minute charts. Taking a look at the E-mini Russell. Called the low on the on the E-mini Russell at this point as well. Same time of the day, 10 o'clock. So that was a very, very good trade. Uh, 30 minutes into the session, buying a dip on a stochastic divergence in the midst of a gap. Uh, gap, and uh, let me see if it worked on the E-mini Dow. I got to check that here. I haven't looked at that yet. So we'll see. It did not get a signal on the E-mini Dow today, but you got it on the E-mini Russell, and you got it on the E-mini S&P, and that's the stochastic divergence. As for the rest of the other new systems, the stochastic divergence. Did not trade on the E-mini Dow, even though you give the signals on the E-mini S&P and E-mini Russell. And the Dow tick strategy did not trade today either, so the tick did not cross above 1,000. So that's the update on the stock indexes. I wanted to make a video on the stock indexes. Um, we're going into option expiration tomorrow, so look for uh, some choppiness and some more counter-trend price action.